Can you believe how long it took for television executives to go, you know what fans might like? To know the score. You know that? That might that might end up being something that they might enjoy because this didn't really end up taking shape, taking hold until the mid-90s when Fox got the NFL. When Fox finally landed the NFL, they put the score box in the corner. It was very revolutionary. Oh, my goodness. You're cluttering up the screen. People, they've never needed it. They'll, they'll listen to the game. And instead, <laughs> what people realized was, you can be tuning into a game at any given point in time. You might not know the score. You know, and when you watch old games, which I do often, especially those from the early 90s or before, you realize if you wanted other scores, oh, forget it. Once every 30 minutes, you were getting a score from a different game, and they were on the screen for like 30 seconds. So you wait 30 minutes, they're on the screen 30 seconds. Oh, I got a beer. Sorry, I missed all the scores. Oh, I got up to go to the bathroom, missed the score. I have no idea what's going on in my game. And yes, if you tune into a game and you're watching long enough, you should be able to catch the score. But it just is remarkable. You can only imagine how some of these conversations went. Well, you know what I think might uh, might help? What? You know, one of the things we hear from fans, they don't know the score of the game. Ah, oh, hogwash. They'll be watching. We'll make them watch longer for the score. They don't need that. I've got a pretty, pretty mind-blowing concept. What if we kept the score on the screen? What would, all right, can we, Jim, can we do that? Bob, I really don't know if we can do that. Can, is there a way to put the score on the screen the full time? Well, that would take up a lot of, a lot of, you know, real estate on the screen. No, we're not talking about the full screen, just like in the corner. In the corner? You want to put the score in the corner? Yeah, like miniature. Like, well, what, how could you even fit that? Well, you know, we could, we could probably abbreviate the team names into just like, you know, three letters. What? How would you even do that? You know, like Seattle could be S-E-A. Oh, uh, nobody would understand that. Who would even know that that's the Seattle Seahawks? It is amazing. Absolutely amazing that we went this long without it. And now you could never imagine watching a game and not knowing the score at every second of the game.